Okay, I've already launched the packet tracer. All right, and I'm now inside the CLI, which is the command line interface. My router is already boot up. All right, so you can see the prompt over here. So the first thing that I need to do is definitely go into the enable mode. All right, so now I'm in the enable mode. I can see that I have gone into the enable mode successfully because I can see the hash at the end of the prompt. Uh, before I start, let me just show the clock which is basically wrong because uh, today is not 1993 so definitely it, the clock is actually wrong so that is where I actually need to set the clock the command to use to set the clock is actually clock set there's a space all right clock set but let's say I cannot remember the exact format I will put a question mark and they will tell you the time will actually be in uh, hour minute second All right. so the time is actually hour minute and second so let's take a look at the time now is actually 22 all right uh zero five let's say just for simplicity zero zero all right so the time is twenty two zero five zero zero twenty four hour time okay and today basically is the nineteen of april but I'm not done yet. Uh, I will purposely put a question mark here. And you will see that I've left out the year. So of course, I have to put in the year, which is 2021 at this current moment. But do take note that there is a maximum limit for the year. In this case, it's 2035. Right. So the router, actually the iOS router itself can handle the year up to 2035. So by then, I'm sure that you won't be using this router anymore. But this is just for you to know the range. So if I hit enter, it come back to the prompt. Well, how do I know that the clock has already been set correctly? Well, very simple. Just do the show clock again and this time you will see that it is actually 22 05 k14 okay, then you will see that it is april 19 2021 so that is how you actually change the clock for a cisco router from the command itself